Good morning, everyone. What's happening? What's going on? Welcome to uh, part two of the gauge cluster fuel level issue I'm having with my Audi Avant. Okay, so what I'm going to be showing you today is um, basically the fuel level on this car. Um, I replaced the sending unit on the driver's side, yet it would only go to just over the three quarters full. And what I want to do is eliminate the possibility that there is an error or a problem with the gauge cluster. And what I'm going to do is use my OBD-11 here. Let's see if I can get this at an angle that won't be too reflective. And I'm going to go into the dashboard setting here for that one of the output tests. And what I can do here is select the output test. And when I do that, we're going to see all of the needles sweep across the cluster here and then they'll go to a diagnostic um, position which is like 62 miles an hour for the speedometer, 3000 RPMs for the gauge cluster, half full for the gas tank, and the halfway point on the temperature gauge which I think is around 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So I will select that output test Okay, and that appears to have worked. And basically what you can use this test for is if any of these positions here are off from that diagnostic um, position that they should be at, you'll know that there's a problem with the gauge cluster, which is um, you likely have an issue with the cluster, which could mean it needs a repair, uh, perhaps an individual gauge, or sometimes the entire gauge cluster itself has to be either sent out for repair or replaced. And um, I'm not sure about Volkswagen and Audi, but um, sometimes the cluster in BMWs will have to be then uh, coded to the car. So that is a possibility. So as you can see here, the temperature gauge is in the middle. We're at 3000 RPMs on the tachometer. 62 miles an hour on the speedometer and halfway on the fuel gauge. Now let's say that this needle here only went to a quarter tank for some reason. Um, we would say, okay, there's a problem with the um, fuel gauge and the cluster itself. So that's one way that you can eliminate the possibility of um, one of the fuel sending units being bad uh, either on the driver side, which is the fuel sending unit, or the one that's built into the fuel pump itself on the passenger side. Um, at least for Quattro models that I'm speaking about, um, the Quattro models have two level senders. Now what we can do here is click the forward arrow and scroll through some other tests, and that will basically just check and see if we have um, any of the other um, tests, output tests, or lights are working on this gauge cluster. So I'll tap forward and I'll show you um, what the other ones do here. So here's the next one. As you can see um, all of the arms, the sweep has dropped down and it shows all of the other warning lights. So just to check and see if those are on. Uh, this is a gong test. Make sure the, the gong is functioning. The gong of death, which is horribly annoying, whether you have your seatbelt undone or low fuel warning, which is what I had. Um, here's a segment test. I'm not sure what this one does. Lighting switches and instruments test. And the next one is the last one, it just says end. So right, there's all of the tests. Uh, there's also some coding and adaptation you can do in here. And I think what I'm going to end up doing here is adjusting, uh, doing some micro adjustments with uh, one of the channels here. So I can, um, I know that my tank is full of gas. Um, I filled it up all the way. 
It has uh, around 16 gallons. Uh, I believe the capacity is 16.5 on this car, so it must be 16.5 because um, I filled it up uh, and attempted several times to top it up at the gas station and the auto shut off on the pump shut off. So I know the car is full, tank is full, and what I'm going to do is just go into the um, adaptations or the, the coating and um, fiddle with the, the tuning on the fuel level. So right now it only goes up to just over three quarters and I'm going to adjust it so it displays full. All right, so I'm going to go into adaptation here and what we need to do is go into channel 30. So we'll enter in 30. Okay, the value should be 128. So let's see what that value is. Oh, interesting. The value shows 120 at the moment. So that is an interesting development. I wonder if this has been um, has been changed in the past, but uh, the value, the original factory value, uh, would be 128. So um, we can adjust that number up and down uh, depending on where we want that needle to go. So as you can see here, we're back at our original positioning with just the ignition on. And right here, this is what my car is reading with a full tank of gas. So what I'm gonna to need to do is um, basically mess with these values here. And the maximum value is 128, I believe. And um, actually it looks like, based on what I'm reading here on the form, it's, I'm just reading this from my phone. It's my little guide. It looks like the lowest that you can go is 120 and the highest you can go to is 136. So um, let's go ahead and experiment with some adjustments here and we'll see which way that needle moves. Okay, so I'm gonna enter in a new value. Let's put in 128, which is the original factory value. And We'll see uh, how that affects the needle. So here we are back on the needle. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm not sure if that did anything at all, actually. All right, so that doesn't seem to be working. So let's go ahead and try something crazy here. Um, according to the form, it says the max is 136, but I'm going to see if it will take uh, a value that's a little higher. So let's go with like um, 150 and see if that does anything. Whoa. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the needle finally moved up. Awesome. All right. Uh, I guess I'll just keep going until this is full, until it hits the full mark. So. Let's go back down here and I'll put in 160. Maybe that will do it. And then you hold this, uh, the green button, just hold that and it will save the adaptation. So let's watch here and see if this goes all the way to full. Okay, cool. That is showing almost all the way full for 160. So um, I guess I guess I'll just keep going until it's it's showing all the way on that white mark. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? 170 maybe? There's 170. Will it go all the way up? Oh, interesting. This is now showing, uh, when I hold this, function not available. So maybe, maybe I got too greedy here. So let's go 175. Will that work? Hmm. Okay, function not available again. How about 
172. Okay, function not available. Maybe I'll go back down and see if there's something else going on here, 168. All right, so we're almost at the full mark here. And basically, I'm gonna go take this back to the gas station and see if I can squeeze in another half gallon. Cause I did, um, I did do a little bit of driving uh, right before I came home the other day. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, it took a little bit more than I expected, 0.8 of a gallon, 0.84 of a gallon to be exact. So let's see if we're full now. Not too bad, I'm just below the line, almost all the way up there, but I guess that's as good as it's going to get. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please help me out and click the like button uh, or drop a comment below. And for all of my BMW peeps, uh, more BMW content uh, with my E28 and my 335i coming this weekend. Uh, it's supposed to rain like any minute now. Um, it's Saturday of Memorial Day weekend and uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day to film. So see you guys in the next video and have a good weekend.